What is the most basic ore you can think of? Coal, right? So naturally, you wouldn't really expect this to be, well, literally the best mining money-making method in the game, at around 50 million coins an hour. Yeah, literally. It's more raw coins per hour than armadillo mining, without any of the lobby finding or being griefed, which is absolutely ridiculous. You can basically just log on and do the method. It's a really cool method too, and I'm excited to share it with you today. So the very first thing you need to know about coal is how the coordinates work. Basically, you get a coal route of like 50 to 200 veins. It should start near the nucleus, as you'll be swapping lobbies often. If you don't have the warp nucleus scroll or can't use it for lobby swapping, then you can visit me and just like hold W, and you walk right into the nucleus portal on my island. Speaking of visiting me, also if you AFK on my island, it would boost my ice minion efficiency and I would love you forever, so please do that. Most of you are probably asking why you would route coal, as it doesn't respawn like gemstones or mithril do. Well, the answer to this is that you just kind of swap lobbies every time you run out of your route. This is also a reason I won't be giving a route in this video, as because of how fast you go through them, any public route would be basically run through every single lobby. So what I encourage you to do is just go into the magma fields and mine around a bunch after you find a coal vein to see the one nearest to it and mark down the veins as you go. You could also use a world download which is supplied in my discord, but I know that my audience hates effort. What is an effort though is- <laughs> Okay, I, I can't do that segue, that's too cringy. I would really appreciate if you subscribed though, thanks. Okay, so now that you know how routes work, and might be really mad at me for not giving you one, let's talk about the method itself. The first part of this is the heart of the mountain, which is pretty basic. It's just the standard tree you use for everything, just with Picobulus instead of Mining Speed Boost. I will say though, Mining Speed Boost is a solid choice as well, as it allows you to mine coal while falling, which is pretty useful because you'll dig down in a vein a lot, and if you can't already, mine hardstone while falling. This sounds really minuscule, and it is, but Picobulus really isn't much of a help either. Personally, in my 100 million coal collection, most of the time I didn't have Picobulus, or just outright couldn't even be bothered to use it. It's really nothing to worry about. It comes in handy too if you don't want to reset your Heart of the Mountain because of the cooldown. As for powder splits within the Heart of the Mountain tree, the first thing I'll talk about is actually insta-mining this stuff. Make absolutely sure that your mining speed is at 1.8k while in the magma fields with a bow pet before putting powder into anything else. Alright, so now for mithril powder. I cannot stress this enough for all of you overeager Yogg and Sorrow users. Do not do this if you cannot get efficient miner 60. Even with 60, this method is much worse, I would recommend at least 80. So once you're done with efficient miner, you should dump everything else into fortune. For gemstone powder, I'd get as high of a mining fortune 2 level as possible, and then get something like mole 71. After that, you're basically maxed for this, but there's two more things you can do with powder. First of all is increasing your base mining speed, remember in the magma fields using a bow pet, to 7.5k. This allows you to instantly mine hardstone while jumping and falling, which can be quite useful for getting to veins that are located above or below you. After you do that, you just want to level mole as high as possible. Because of these powder splits, I'd recommend starting this method with a minimum of 4.2 million mithril powder and like 4 million gemstone powder. I cannot stress enough how disappointed I will be if I see some random person in sorrow with 2 million powders of both types saying they're doing a meta method. Don't be that person. Okay, so now that that's over with, I'll go over the gear I recommend. For your pet, you'll pretty obviously want a bow pet since you're in the magma fields. For your armor, you'll want regular Devon, but for one piece, you'll want to use mineral armor. You'll also obviously want a perfect jade in the universal slot of your drill, if applicable. You could also use a snail pet on hardstone if you're weird like me because you want hardstone collection or something. The auto pet rules for this are simply just when you gain hardstone collection, equip snail, and when you gain coal collection, equip bow. Try to get as much speed as possible for the snail buff. This doesn't boost money at all though, so literally only do this if you want hardstone collection. One super, super useful thing is Soupy's ordered waypoints feature to massively increase your rates. I personally use a coal route that is 190 veins, and this gets really cluttered on my screen, where I sometimes don't know where to go next. I've linked a tool in the description that allows you to convert Skytail's waypoints to Soupy waypoints, and then if you have all of the settings enabled, you can use slash load waypoints, slash convert to order, slash clear waypoints, and boom. 
I would also recommend enabling the feature that draws a line to the next ordered waypoint. Once again, I literally cannot stress enough how useful this feature is. Literally everybody I've told it to has told me that it has massively improved their rates. If you want to see a person who's really good at coal so you can copy their routing and whatnot, I've linked a video by Vinxy in the description showcasing some pretty ridiculous rates. So if you're planning on trying to develop your skill with this method, I would certainly recommend checking him out. Keep in mind that this is a heavily bizarre dependent method and isn't really good at all to the NPC, so it will be worsened by this video. I do believe that it will still be quite good though. If you're mad at me for making the video, read the description, there's some more in-depth information there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy Cole!